take away your things and go You can't take back what you said I know I've heard it Hey guys, it's Mercedes. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. You can click the button right here or it will be in the description box below. And if you're new, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys aren't following me on my Instagram or Twitter, those will also be right here. So, it's crazy. It's 2016. Shake that. It's just crazy to think like it's 2016. It feels like yesterday was 2005 and I was like in school writing that on my papers. I am going to be showing you guys this look right here. I think it's awesome for people with brown eyes and if you have colored eyes, it will look great on you. So if you guys want to see how I did this look, keep watching. First, I'm going to be starting off with my baby skin pore eraser and I'm just going to be placing this all over my face and rubbing it in. Next, I'm going to be using my MAC foundation and I'm just going to be spotting it like a cheetah. Once I'm done with all the coverage that I have applied that I want, I'm going to be using my beauty blender and just rubbing it in and I'm going to be dabbing it under my eyes and I am going to be using some of this for my eyelids as well. And when you're doing this, make sure you're rubbing it all the way in because you don't want to look like your skin tone doesn't match your neck. So next, I'm going to be using my Glamophage Concealer in the color Light. This thing is amazing. Next, I'm going to be drawing on some triangle-looking situations. Yeah, so once you look like this, I'm just going to be using my Beauty Blender and dabbing this into my skin. You don't want to rub it because then you're going to take away all of the product. So just dab it away and make sure you put some of this on your eyelids for the base of the eyeshadow. Jam session! And we're back. I'm going to be using my Anastasia contour kit and I'm going to be using this color, it's called Banana, just to be setting my concealer so under my eyes don't crease. Then I'm taking some loose powder from Tarte and I'm just placing that all over my face, like so, and then rubbing it away. And I'm going to be focusing on my eyebrows. I'm taking my Salon Perfect gel and spoolie and just combing out these crazy eyebrows and then filling them into the shape that is desired, which is kind of curvy, round, yeah, whatever I'm doing. I kind of just go with the flow, to be honest. But it never fails that DiCaprio wants to be right where I am when I'm filming. You'll see him right now. <laughs> and I'll take a water break. I'm taking that same contour kit with the same color and placing it under my eyes so it can catch any eyeshadow that we're going to be applying. So make sure you do this step. It's very important. I'm using a small blending brush from Morphe. They're the best. And I'm just going to be placing this into my crease and going back and forth and back and forth until I get the color that I want. Mostly just blend it out so it's not so harsh. And I will show you what color I'm using. I'm taking this eyeshadow, it is called Wine from Hikari, and I'm just placing that. And I'm just placing this into the crease to enhance the color that we just applied. Next, I'm taking a small angled brush, and then I'm going to be taking my Hikari in the same color, Wine, and I'm just going to be running it along the bottom of my waterline. So by doing this step, it is just going to make our eye color pop and look a little more charming than what it looks like, if you know what I mean. This is the color that I used first time, so then we're going to be taking this color and just placing it on top of the Wine Hikari color because it makes it look amazing. Then I'm taking a small round brush from Morphe and I'm just going to be mixing these two colors and placing it on top of my lid. Basically packing it on until it's shiny and sparkly and draws attention. Next I'm taking a MAC bronzer that I've had forever and I'm basically going to be blending out the harsh line all the way up to my brow bone. Then I'm taking those same colors and I'm going to be placing them on my brow bone. There's a little shimmer in there so it makes it pop out. I'm taking that same angled brush with the same red color and I'm just going to be placing it into my crease and this is going to enhance my crease to make it a little bit more sharp because we did blend it out. I am using a gold from this palette and I'm just placing it under the waterline to make my eyes really pop. Then I'm going to be taking the medium brown from the contour kit and I'm going to be finding my cheekbone. If you're not quite sure where to contour, you can always take your brush and just Roll it down your cheek until it hits your cheekbone and that's where you should contour. 
So I'm just going to be continuing with the darker brown since I found my cheekbone and just enhancing the color. I then am taking a normal bronzer from MAC and I'm just going to be blending this out because you don't want a harsh line sitting on your face. You'll look very funny and it's not pretty. And I do run it along my forehead. Next I'm going to be taking... Oh. Next I'm going in with a highlighter that is called Champagne and I'm just going to be highlighting that area. And I like it a little bit more enhanced so I'm going in with Soft and Gentle from MAC and just placing it right over that cream highlighter. And I know this is an eyeshadow, but I use it as a blush, so I'm going in with a blush brush from MAC, and I'm just going to be rosing up my cheeks a little bit. Then I'm taking eyeliner and doing my wings because, you know, that's what I'm known for. And this is probably the most time you will see me focused because this is so hard to do with just one hand. Believe it or not, I did it. So yay me! Then I'm going to be curling my eyelashes. That's right. <gasps> ah, just kidding. Gotcha. <laughs> so after you're done doing this, you're going to be taking any mascara. In this case, I'm taking a mascara from Hakari. And I'm just going to be placing a couple coats on top. I usually do about, I don't know, three or four. I like my eyelashes long, so yeah. For mascara. I usually use two mascaras, I don't know if it's just me or I'm weird, but I usually do the same thing, just place it over and then go back in and do it all over for your bottom eyelashes. And I usually apply a lot of coats to the bottom because I really want them to pop because the eyeshadow is pretty. So what to do for my lips? I really don't have much of this, but we're going to use it because it's my favorite. So I'm just going to be lining my lips as you would if you had lips. Just line them up and then bring it on to the top and line your top as well. If you want to go like Kylie Jenner, you could totally overline your lips, but I think I'm just going to follow my lip line as much as I can. Then I'm going to be filling them in with the liner because I love this color. Next, I'm going to be taking a lipstick from Matte. It's the same color as the liner, just a, like a nude pinkish color, and filling them in. And after you're done, voila! Take away your things and go. You can't take back what you said. I know, I've heard it all before. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. New Year's resolution? Leave it in the comments down below. Well, Happy New Year and I hope you guys have some really good goals for yourself because it's a new year. What better way to start off with setting a goal list and accomplishing it because it just makes you feel good. Okay, well that's all I have for you guys. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye! Same old, old.